this is how you know if you are eligible to vote. You check for your names and see if you have your names out. Like, if it's here, we'll just put your names. Now that I have sent the girls out of the house, I got my hand back here. I want to go out. Today is a by election here where I live. This is just like, I live in my state actually. For those of you that have been asking, where do you live in Nigeria? I live in my state, one of the states in the southern part of Nigeria. Ross River State to be precise. Where I come from is not very far from here. In fact, we have a lot of, um, like our senators are the same, our House of Rep members are the same people representing here and where I come from. So before we step outside, let me explain to you briefly. Let me give you an insight so that you will understand. The general elections is somewhere around, I think, 2023. Yeah, general elections all over Nigeria. But this one is by election because the, the person that was a senator representing this place um, passed away. May her soul rest in peace. She passed away in 2020 during COVID-19. She died in the UK. So... When she passed away, the person that was in the House of Rep then, Honre, he bought a ticket to contest for the House of Senate. He contested against another man, some other man like that. And then he won. Yo, Jaribe won the election. He became the senator of representing this consistency. Now, the seat for House of Rep member became vacant because he won the senatorial election so that is why there's election today to fill in that gap and uh, but what i don't understand is the election seems to be too serious just house of rep elections there have been four governors that have visited this place four apc governors came around to for the campaign and um so man this election is going to be tough the battle is between pdp and apc so i want to go out there okay i'm not going to vote because this is not where i'm supposed to vote I'm, if i wanted to vote i should have gone home to my village where i registered so i can vote so now i'm taking a walk outside to go to some of the polling units around here to go see probably give you guys a glimpse of what it is how nigerian votes the elections here i hope you're ready if you're ready hit the subscribe button and um tell me i look good because i know you i will see you guys out there let's go everywhere is dry there's restriction of movement today I'm fully aware of that. Yeah, that's why I did all the cooking yesterday. If you have your own car, you can move maybe just a few miles away from your house. But there's restriction of movement. Even shops are not clean. Everywhere is quiet. I want to see what it feels like here because I'm always almost all of the elections have always been in my village. I didn't really notice much about how it is in the town so let's just go see how it is i'm going to show you guys some of the streets i'm going to show you guys some of the streets here and see how it's dry they are i'm hoping in the middle of the road something you can't do in I have Nigerians watching me. So let's gossip a little bit. Yesterday and up to today, there's this helicopter that have been hovering around, hovering around. 
I don't understand like hey house of rep elections Nigerians have all the time and resources to fly helicopter I see that it keeps on hovering around the, one of the contestants house I don't know why I'm worried a bit like yesterday I was like oh my god I hope they're not about to harm him because the man is from my place but the man's house is close to mine to where I live I live in a developing site, like this place is developing. I don't live in the heart of the town itself because I don't like noise. You get it? So you. I'm getting close to one of the centers and people are arguing, people are fighting. I don't know what to expect if I'll be able to film when I get there because today nobody is playing with you you can get you can easily be beaten and your phone taken from you in the name of you know if you report to the police they may lie against you that you try to do something so I am overlooking from here hold on let me show you guys you can see in there is one of the cooling units I may not be able to film when I get inside so let us go this is how you know if you are eligible to vote. You check for your names and see if you have your name out. Like if it's here on the school units. If you have a name on one of these things, it means this is your voting center. Clearly this is not mine. So I just want to show you guys how it is done. So now going for counting. By uh, pulling unit to pulling the account on, and so. Okay. Um, so, are you going to go close? Yes, I'm going to. Okay, that means I can come with you. Thank you. Hey. Okay, so it is very clear. I try to assess the place. They threaten that they are going to beat me. Like, eh? they are going to kill me if I make an attempt to film them. <laughs> So they think like when I go to the place, the the guys are they feel like I'm from so maybe like a media house. That I'm one of the media's uh, personnel. So I, they told me that if I make an attempt to film them, they are going to beat me. What does that tell you? It is it means that it's not free and fair. Like like people have said it should be. It is not. I did been I'm back home in my village. Some of the people that knows that I'm a YouTuber, yeah, they could maybe allow me access to whatever is ongoing. But clearly here, they don't know me. And I saw someone I know there, but he's quite busy. And of course, he's not going to be able to save me when issues arises. I met some of the security personnel at the DSS and I asked them if I could film. That I wanted to just a glimpse of it, um, a glimpse of what is happening. And... They told me no, that I shouldn't because it's not safe. The securities are telling me it's not safe. So, me, I'm going back with my life to my family. <laughs> There's a pulling unit. Uh -huh, like this one. Okay. Hmm. You don't. Who they win? Okay, I'm home finally. So I made it back home safely. The first place I went to was not organized, clearly, because it's like something is going on there that they are not pleased. So the party they don't want is leading or something, and there's kind of bitterness in that place. And they see that they are ready to fight or anything. So I left that place and clearly I went to the second one. That place, they were a bit more organized. It looks like majority of the people in that place are for one of the other parties, that's PDP, while minority of the people, voters there, are for APC. So they, according to the, the 
counting of votes that was happening there, APC, I mean, um, PDP was clearly leading at the second polling unit. The other one, they didn't get to count before I left because, you know, they were not organized and that kind of place. If I hear that uh, a fight break out there, I will not be surprised. Okay, so now that is that. It was yesterday here that I discovered that the Ministry of Power and Seal is from this place. So that man is from here, yet there is no power supply here. And I saw in the news yesterday where he was boasting that there is steady electricity supply in Nigeria. It's okay, here is Nigeria. And these people had to close their shops, close their whatever they are doing to go stand under the sun risk their life and vote for any party they choose to even with the fact that there's no electricity here for the past how many weeks like there is no single power supply here so people go those that do not have generators to pump water they go far away to buy water yet it is it is okay nigerians are not complaining so why am i yeah so today they have forgiven the government. Nobody feels like, okay, we are going to buy cuts this election. We are not going to vote. They all went and they voted. So yeah, it's going to be like year in, year out. Nothing is going to be done. Yo. So one of the parties, um, the, the reason one of the parties is leading is the party that used to exist here before APC came, which is PDP. So the governor of the state won under the platform of PDP and then he later defected back to APC and then he used the appointments of if you are under if you have any political appointments he would threaten to take it from you if you don't defeat with him to APC so a lot of the people defected to APC not because they wanted just to keep their jobs um, to avoid you know going broke so they followed him to apc so and then when it was time for the apc to have their primary elections before this one the governor didn't allow them he single-handedly picked a candidate of his choice a son of some rich former senator who have been in power for as long as god knows when so they picked him to 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 represent apc without primaries. So a lot of people were bitter based on that. They said, okay, they are going to give their support to PDP. We are all going to wait and see what happens. But whatever happens, yeah, that's how it's done. Ah, yo, maybe when I hear what them say, them say, I will put it here at the, on the screen. Before I edit the video, the results will be out definitely uh, before this video will be up. So I'll get to put it somewhere here. To announce the winner for you guys i hope that you enjoyed that you enjoyed watching this video i will see you guys in my next one bye